These videos are a stream recording hybrid. Random commentary based on the stream chat may be found. Stupid gifs found from the stream chat will also be found. Viewer discretion may be advised. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Deadly Premonition, the director's cut, part two. Part... You know what I mean. In this uh, episode, I'm just walking through the nice little woods with nothing bad happening at all. I'm just coming in here to put a fuse in the fuse box. The weather's a little bit down, but everything's fine, right? Right. Fuse into the fuse box. Well, fuse box into the slot for the fuse box. That still doesn't look like I'm pressing a button. They tried, at least, but still. The power in there should be more stable now. Let's hurry ahead, Zach. Wait, I think I hear something again. Maybe not? Yep, I did. Yes. I'm just shooting at shadows. Come on. Amazing. Great. Boom, headshots. Just waste the rest of the bullets in my quit on this thing, because more than likely, if I'm right, or I could be completely, I could just shot that the entire time. Yep, it was inside the barrel. I'm gonna switch weapons. I'm gonna try a steel pipe. See if this is any better. I mean, my pistol is fantastic and all, but oh wow. Pipe is good, but can only take a couple of hits. Maybe I should keep it for later. Fine. Actually, yeah. Come on, just a little bit further. There we go. You, Agent Honors. Oh, there's a guy over here. Oh, nice shot. Oh, hi. Nice shot. Great. Got more bandages. Well, first aid kit, but you know what I mean. Okay, I see you there, but I just tapped the question to reality. Amazing. Nothing coming up behind me. Well, besides you, but you know, you're not exactly threatening. There's so many enemies. It better not be infinite. Great, great. Really? Another one? Yes. Amazing. It still sounds like they're saying, You killed me. Nice shot. Okay, is that all of them? Still not all of them. I'm getting money for this, so I'm going to keep doing it. But. Got 10 millimeter auto bullets. 10 millimeter auto bullets. Really? Great. Is this gonna just keep happening? Can anyone? Great. I shot. Is is he just gonna keep? Um, stream yes. chef? Please inform me if this is just going to keep happening or not. It, does anyone know? Does anyone know at all? Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Nice shot. Okay, I'm leaving. It's getting ridiculous. Oh god. Nope. I looked away for half a second. Ah, ah, ah! Come back, your killer. No one coming up behind me. Apparently I can't destroy that one up there. And now, finally, let's chase down this psycho killer. Silent Hill-esque. Seems the last piece for a puzzle was here. Now let's solve the entire case. End of the game right here. Profiling start. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? Things look my coffee more warned me about it. Wait, what? Yesterday morning, the milk I poured in my coffee made a sign. It said, Tomorrow you'll arrive in a place that will change your fate. I... Good to know, crazy. Okay, let's check the phone, and let's save real quick. Grab the agent honor from up here. It says to go that way, but I can just go the other way and see how far I get. More agent honor. Can I just keep going this direction forever? Hmm. Or is this a waste of my time? Uh. You came here to investigate, right, Zach? Oh. So it actually just increases the fog over you until you're... Okay, that's interesting. I will say, though, the game sounds in this... The, the sound effects, they remind me of something. I just can't pick it up. Like, whenever it does the scrolling of the text or anything, it's definitely a sound effect I know of, and I'm not sure where it's from. An old game, maybe? Maybe a PS1 game or something? I'm not sure. Maybe an N64, even? Well, the stream chat says that uh, I'm thinking of every 90s RPG ever, so. I wonder what one I'm thinking of in particular, then. Let's calm my heart rate down quite a bit. Hit. Is that a squirrel? Or a chipmunk? If it's a chipmunk, I'm going to shoot it. I have some beef with chipmunks after uh, after going camping the last couple years. They're dicks. They get up on your tent in the middle of the like that like freaking six a.m. and start screaming at you. Now you were very late. Emily Wyatt, Greenville Deputy Sheriff. 
I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. FBI Special Agent, Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Agent okay. York? Good, that's good. Are you the sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy Sheriff Emily Wyatt. George, he's the sheriff. He went looking for you, actually. He should be back soon. I see. If you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way here? My car broke down, that's all. That's actually a fair question. She's easy on the eyes. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. By the way, don't mention anything about what happened back there. She'll think you're a psycho. Don't want that, do we, Zach? Welcome to Greenvale. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. Nice to meet you, George, though I have a question. Why do you look looking for me on foot? FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just in the call rain. Me York. That's what everyone calls me. Could you tell me why the FBI is so interested in a small town homicide? Let's just say it's a personal interest in killers of young women. I'm always looking for new sample cases to help me with my profile. Both our superiors have cleared this with each other. You can remain in command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem. Just want to set things straight. Our small town has its share of problems. I'm the one fixing them one by one and maintaining peace and order. You can have your profiling sample, but I need you to understand that. <clears throat> of course. Of course. By the way, George, I had a little accident with my car. Could you send someone to take care of it? Oh, and my clothes and luggage are still inside. All right. Don't worry. I'll get my assistant, Thomas, to take care of it. Do you need anything else? Thanks. That'll be all. Well then, I think I'll rest up first at the hotel. Then I'll join you on your investigation. Don't know how to say that. But, uh, really don't need your help. Unlike some of your corrupt city police officers, I play it by the book. I hope you'll come to appreciate that, Agent Morgan. And we'll handle the investigation. You just think of this as a vacation. Take it easy. Enjoy the nature here. You don't have to be a tree worshipper to appreciate the wildlife here. Zach, let's reassess the situation. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the Middle Ages. And we've just met the king. Mr. Sassy Pants over here. Welcome to Greenvale, everyone. clear time. I killed 35 enemies during that. Payment rewarded $200. Basic wage, unpaid salary, $1,100. Funds total amount, $1,450. Prologue cleared. Do you want to save? Yes, I do. Previously, during the, Previously, investigation. During the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Greenville. I'm the Sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. <laughs> it's broken. I've been using that one for a long time. Why didn't you get it repaired? 
This TV is important to you, right? It's got some memories attached to it, sure. I used to watch movies on this thing with your grandma all the time. Grandma liked movies? Of course she did. Everyone loves movies, right? I love movies, too. I've never been to a movie theater, though. Episode 1, first day of the investigation. So right off the bat, Angel Isaac. Nothing new about the description of it. You got Angel Isaac's card. Eh, green wings, poison. Alright. Anything I can look at here? A sugar donut? So sugar donuts will satisfy a small amount of hunger. All right. Well, the door isn't locked. It's locked. Well, I can't go through that one, so I guess the only move to get, do is go forward. Enter the darkness. So much red everywhere. I mean, I'm more of a blue person, but this is beautiful, old thing. If not a bit offsetting. York. York. Uh. Don't breathe. Hold your breath. They can't see you if you hold your breath. Hurry. Like this. Cover your mouth. holding my breath. Glad I don't actually have to hold my breath because I doubt I can just sit here not breathing for a while. Who are you? I'm actually playing with the PS3 controller, though my computer doesn't know that. It was only just a dream. Ah, uh, hotel rooms. That's a really big bed, though, like, an unnecessarily. That can fit, like, three or four people. Comfortably. Time to climb out of bed and get up in the morning. Zach, the symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees. A carpet with red leaves. A strange doll. And 
twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. It was you from 23 years ago. Well, it'll probably come back to me eventually. For now, we need coffee. Oh god, the coffee. All right. Guys, let's head to the cafeteria, Zack. I hope they have some real coffee. I really need some coffee. Then we can head to the sheriff's office. There's a proper procedure for everything, right, Zack? Okay, now that he's finished talking, uh, he really likes coffee. <laughs> like, unnecessarily so. Uh, sure, let's try saving. Just for the sake of not having to watch that again. Earn $12 per day, we reporter. I could go to sleep. I can store things in there. Alright. Uh, you, I think there's actually a way to grow a beard. I think you just have to wait long enough in the game and you'll start actually growing stubble and whatnot. I think this is the toilet. Can I actually use it? I cannot. So I'm just going to run whenever I try to go through a door because otherwise it takes way too long. I believe it's this way. Never mind. Head down the hallway here and then head right. Oh, this is. Oh, okay, never mind. I remember. Apparently, that room's just closed for some reason. Also, I just realized that his heart rate goes up quite a bit. He's probably not exactly fit. Then again, I can't really make a complaint there since neither am I. Alright, here we are. The music. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast is ready for you. I love this music. Polly Oxford, the hotel owner. Thank you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Well then, thank you, Polly. I'm starving. Is everything all right, Mr. Morgan? Yes. It's delicious, Polly. Wow. My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? The salt's in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, no, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh my, we're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. I could just live on my pension, but I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old for you. And I still love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Polly, I can hardly hear you from all the way over there. You're exaggerating. This is fine. It won't do to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. We have to make use of all this space. <sighs> now tell me, that wound on your face, what happened? 
Let's just say I had some trouble during the last case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Just oh a flesh my, wound. well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. I'll help you out in any way I can. Zack, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? I mean, yeah, Say, good Polly, idea. what can you tell me about this town? Well, let me see. You might know this already, but the town is called Greenvale. It rains here quite often, but it's a nice place, surrounded with nature. It was a big and prospering lumber town until not so long ago. We used to have a population of over 6,000 people. Less than a tenth of them left now. This hotel was built back then. We saw plenty of guests in those days. That's why this place is so big for such a small community. I have so many fond memories from back then. I suppose the clock on the community center is quite famous too. The clock? Oh yes, it's lovely. It rings in the morning and at night to let the whole town know the time. You'll hear it many times during your stay. It's a beautiful sound. And you'll love it too, I think. I look forward to hearing it then. Anything else you'd like to know about? Tell me about the shops. Yes, actually, Polly. Could you tell me about the shops around here? Shops? Well, there aren't many. It is a small town, after all. You can do most of your shopping at the Milk Barn convenience store. The couple who run it are a unique pair. I'm sure you'll get to like them. The A&G Diner is a great place to eat. They might be open even if my kitchen is closed. If you want to go to a bar, there are two. The Galaxy of Terror and the Sweary 65. I don't care much for either of them. Bars are for the younger folk. We also have a gas stand, of course, the art gallery, and even a gunsmith. You should be able to find what you need. Thank you, Polly. Well, Mr. Morgan, I'd better start cleaning up. You just take it easy. I'll bring your coffee out in a moment. Thank you, Polly. I have to warn you, though. I am very particular oh God, about face. my coffee. The very best you have, please. I understand. I'll be right back with it. Look at it with interest. Did you see that, Zack? Clear as a crisp spring morning. F. K. In the coffee. I knew I could count on it. Never fails. Now then, let's get going. His facial expressions terrify me more than anything this game has thus far. Wow. Okay. York and his coffee. Let's grab this. Agent Honor, $30. Can't walk out there for some reason. I'm assuming this is supposed to be glass or something. I'm not really sure. It's very clean. She does a very good job. And I could stand here. I think I can talk to her and I can keep getting coffee. I will not be doing that right now. I'll be doing that at a future time. Yeah, I can make coffee right there. I will not be doing that right now. <laughs> Uh, man, I'm, I'm not sure what to do right now, other than not actually make progress, so I'll do that, but I'll do that next time. So next time, let's play Deadly Premonition, the director's cut. We'll be moving on to the story, We're trying to figure out York and his weird psychosis with coffee, and honestly, enjoy more of this game. I love the tunes in this game, and just the general atmosphere. It does have quite a few random pop-up glitches and not all the textures are great but honestly it's kind of lovable so see you guys next time <laughs>